I don't even know where to begin. I do not know where to even effing forget. I'm so disappointed right now. So disappointed that Scottie Pippen, Michael Jordan, and Dennis Rodman. I'm not even going to put a lot of energy into this because it's just going to piss me off even more, frustrate me even more. If you didn't live in Chicago or grew up in Chicago doing those Bulls championship years, you probably wouldn't understand what I'm talking about, how I'm feeling right now. See, I'm a Chicago person. I grew up in Chicago. If you're in Chicago, all you do is love all the Chicago teams, period. Even if they suck, you ride or die with Chicago. And Michael Jordan is it. He is the man in Chicago. Still is to this day. And I don't know what the fuck is going on between Jordan and Pippen. All because of Pippen's personal life with his ex-wife, Larsa Pippen. And... You know, Pippen holding some type of grudge against Jordan because Jordan wouldn't, I guess, take his side when it comes to his son, Marcus, dating Pippen's ex-wife, Larsa. I mean, I get it. It's hurtful. I get it. It's embarrassing for Scottie Pippen. And, you know, then you got the last dance that came out a couple years ago. And, of course, Pippen... It's pissed off about that because how he was portrayed in the last dance. He didn't like the fact that Jordan pretty much put a lot of motherfuckers under the bus when it comes to um, the things that happened during those Chicago Bulls runs. I don't really look at it as Jordan putting anyone under the bus. Jordan was just being honest. He was. And Pippen need to understand, like, if it weren't for Jordan... I don't believe Pippen would even got to where he's in, you know, where he was during that time. When Pippen first came into the league, Pippen, he was okay, but he wasn't no all-star player. Under Jordan's tutelage, Pippen became an all-star. Watching Jordan, Pippen became an all-star. Jordan pushed Pippen, and then when Pippen got to that level, he stopped pushing Jordan. And that's how they became, uh, became to me, the greatest duel of all time. My opinion, a lot of people might go against that because you got Shaq and Kobe. Then you got, um, I believe it was um, who, um, Larry Bird. I don't know if it was Larry Bird or Mikhail, Larry Bird, Robert Parrish, Larry, Larry Bird or Danny Ainge. I don't know, but I know it was a nice little pair with the Boston Celtics. And you got a couple other motherfuckers like... Um, what is his name? Alonzo Mourning and... Fuck, I forgot his name. Dude who played My Mama. They used to call him My Mama. I think that's what they used to call him. But uh, I know them two. They were, like, really good together. Then you got Duncan and Robinson. And a lot of other uh, great teammates, you know. But I still think Jordan and Pippen is the greatest duo of all time. But I'm kind of upset and embarrassed because neither one of the top three showed up to the ring ceremony. The ring of honor celebration, as you might call it. And that's, you know, that's to celebrate the Bulls championship years. Like, I don't care about their personal lives. If it weren't for the fans, Jordan, you would not be a fucking millionaire, billionaire. Pippen, you won't be a millionaire. Robin, Robin probably will still be a millionaire because I'm just talking about Chicago. Cause you know, Robin didn't start off in Chicago. He just came to Chicago for those three championship years. But he'll still be a millionaire, of course. But a lot came, you know, he signed that contract with the Bulls and 
he blew up even more. Robin was a, you know, everyone knew who Robin was with the Detroit Piston days, the Detroit Bad Boys. But when he came to the Bulls, his name he got even bigger. You know, he played with San Antonio as well. But with the Bulls, he just got bigger and bigger and bigger. You know what I'm saying? And they all had their little video messages they left for the fans. Don't nobody want to hear no fucking video message. Get your ass on a motherfucking plane or however you get to your destinations. Get your ass there. You should have been there. Period. You should have been there. The fans bust their ass to get to these games. Cold as fuck outside and they showed up at sold out arena. You know, Chicago Bulls, period. Even though they're starting to get better and better this year. I'm talking about the new Bulls team with, you know, the Rosen and all them boys. They're starting to get up there. You know, they're the ninth seed now. But people ain't show up that day just to watch the Bulls. They showed up because they thought they was going to see Jordan, Pippen, and Robin. Then you got the rest of the boys that showed up. You know, Kerr, he was there anyway because he's the coach of the team that was actually going against the Bulls that day. You know, he had a lot. Phil Jackson, I believe he was there. Um, Stacy King was there because he was part of the first uh, three-peat. Uh, Tony Kukoc, he was honored, you know what I'm saying? Ron Harper was there. Speaking of Ron Harper, I believe he the one, and I want to get this off my chest, the way I think that was Jerry Cross, not Rant. I believe it was Cross, his wife, accepted an uh, award on his behalf. Because he's no longer, you know, what if he passed away? And the Chicago Bulls fans booed him. What? And you, I'm just watching his wife break down and start crying. Because she's there to support her husband and the Bulls organization. Therefore, the fans. And they boo her dead husband. And she was crying. She tried her best to, you know, to stay with it for the fans. And Ron Harper had to come over there, you know, give her a nice little hug. And I don't know, whatever he said to her in her ear, she just started crying even more. That lady got to be in her, what, 80s and or 90s, mid to late 90s? I don't know, but I know she's old. And that's the way the Bulls fans show they respect. So what that man, people didn't like him. If it wasn't for him, it wouldn't be no Jordan Pippen or Robin. Or Phil Jackson, he brought that team together. And I hate that they did that to that lady. It was so damn sad. And, you know, it made me not even want to even do this. I'm not proud anymore that I'm from Chicago. Not after seeing that. Like, that that's just bad. You know, in this world we living in, they actually will boo this old lady's husband. It was just so sad. If you all have not seen it, go on YouTube and check it out. You will be pissed off. This old lady is crying, trying to hold it together while they're booing her husband. He's no longer with us. He's dead. Someone she's been with for decades. Probably was with that man since they were teenagers. I don't know. But I know she was with him for a long time before he died. And they booing this man while she's there. Supporting him, supporting the Bulls organization, there for the fans. It, it 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 was bad. It was bad. But back to Scotty, Pippen, Michael Jordan, and Dennis Rodman. I lost a lot of respect for them. I mean, I know I'm just one fan, and it really doesn't matter how I feel. They still gonna be millionaires. Well, Rodman ain't. I don't know. I don't think Robin a millionaire no more. I think he's barely surviving. <laughs> but he's doing his thing, whatever. But um. He's still a celebrity, you know what I'm saying? He still get paid to show up to places, and he still get a check every... I don't know how they pay these professional athletes once they retire. I don't know if they get paid at once a month, every two weeks, or like a few times a year, or once a year. I don't know how they get paid, but I know he still makes his money through the Bulls and through Detroit Pistons and San Antonio, you know what I'm saying? But um, I lost a lot of respect for them boys, for real. Get up off your ass. Settle it like grown man. Y'all fucking millionaires. Jordan, you a billionaire. Get off your ass, you know. Go face to face with Scottie Pippen. Say what you gotta say to his face. Same with Scotty. Scotty, you got something to say? You you y'all had that opportunity to squash it that day. But y'all wanna be big ass like big ass kids. 
and instead he show up for the fans, y'all's videos, post up fucking videos. Who who want to see y'all on the video? We seen y'all enough on TV, you know what I'm saying, playing. Y'all should have showed up for the fans in person. It's been a long time since people seen Jordan, in a, you know, in the Chicago Bulls stadium. He should have fucking showed up. You are a Chicago Bull. Pippen, you are a Chicago Bull. Dennis Rodman, you are a Chicago Bull. That's what you're going to be known as, regardless of what teams you play for. Jordan, you play for the Wizards. Pippen, you play for the Trailblazers. After y'all Chicago Bull days were over. So what? Rodman, everyone know who Rodman played for. So what? That day was to celebrate the Chicago Bulls winning their championships. And them three could not show up. I'm, I'm really disappointed, man. You see this shit? You even got the name, my name on there because how big a fan I am of Chicago Bulls. You know what I'm saying? They could have settled that feud right then and there. They chose to not show up. Man, I don't even know how to feel anymore when they come to these them three, man. And I'm telling y'all, when I say I'm a die hard, I was a die hard fan back in them days. Die hard. I was one of the motherfuckers that got caught in '96. Looting them. I was out there doing my thing before my a, a week before my daughter was born. I got caught. Me and my brother. Well, my brother didn't get caught. He actually dodged the cops. I ended up getting caught. Got locked up for a couple of days. Thousands of Chicagoans locked up that night. Like we, they had us all in paddy wagons. You know what I'm saying? With the little plastic uh, handcuffs. That's how, that's what they had back in the day. Because, you know, it was a lot of teenagers being around. I was a teenager back then. I was only 17 when I got locked up when the Bulls won in 96. And I'm telling you, those are the memories, you know what I'm saying? When you're a that hard Chicago Bulls fan, you're a that hard Chicago Bulls fan. And I surely was. And I was out there having fun, enjoying the life. I made a mistake right before my, but I was there. To it is, you know, my daughter being born. I got out just in time. Thanks to my grandma bailing me out, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but uh, but that was a tough five days being in jail. Chicago Cook County Jail. Yeah, that was tough. It was hard. That five days seemed like two, three weeks, you know what I'm saying? For real. But um, I cannot believe these three didn't show up. I just can't believe it. And people want to come up with all these excuses. Well, maybe they were doing something. Maybe they couldn't make it. Man, you got motherfuckers like me who get up every day struggling to keep gas in a vehicle. I still make it to work. And I'm not a millionaire. If I can do this shit every day, be on the grind every day, these motherfucking millionaires, billionaires can fly in their jets and make it. So, so this one in a lifetime deal, you know what I'm saying? That's just how I feel. And I ain't taking none of that shit back. They bogus as hell. I lost a lot of respect for them three. Especially Michael Jordan. Especially Michael Jordan. <sighs> Make me just want to ball this motherfucker up and throw it in the garbage. You know what I'm saying? All right, I just wanted to get that off my chest, y'all. Hope y'all subscribe to the channel. Make sure y'all click that notification for them. Uh, well, click, I said notification. Click that bell for them notifications. See, that's how frustrating I am. I don't even know what the fuck to say. You know, become a member. You know, help your boy out. I, you know, I really do appreciate everyone sticking with me. Lately, I've been seeing a lot of motherfuckers unsubscribing from the channel. I, I, I get that because I ain't been on there as much. I'm not putting a lot of content out because a lot been going on, you know, like personally in my personal life. But you know your boy back. I'm, a, you know, I'm gonna keep pushing it out there. I'm gonna keep, you know, putting that shit out there. I'm finna start back hitting it hard. Y'all know how I do. I take my little time, and then I'm back. You know what I'm saying? That's how I do it. 
So as always, thank y'all for tuning in. And you already know how your boy get down. Peace, love, and deuces.